Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. So, this person right here is a swirling bench warmer by the name of Patrick Patterson of the Los Angeles Clippers. You see, a couple, a while back, he went on social media and referred to black women as bulldogs. And I was very upset when I found out that he would say such disgusting things. See, this is the guy of a guy that why some black women, not all, but some, don't want to deal with black men or with the black community entirely is because you have scumbags like Patrick Patterson over here who are is provoking the gender war and the interracial swirling agenda at the same time yes he is a swirler and this, what you see is a picture of his alleged wife, and this white woman right here is his wife that he married. See, he is trying, see, he does not respect his own people, and he wants to make excuses for marrying his white wife. I mean, if he, you know what, if he wants to go marry a white woman, that's fine. If that white, if that woman, regardless of who she is, loved him for him, that's fine. But you should not use your interracial marriage to use it as a, an excuse to attack black women. Just like if a black woman wants to be with the white man or an other man, it, that's fine, as long as she's not using that relationship to attack black men. See, these swirlers want to use their relationship to attack their own people because of the self-hate they have. And then you got this. If I can get to it right here. Peter's buffering a little bit, but, um, here it is right here. So I was looking at this tweet, and shout out to Anchored in Blackness. She, um, uh, this individual showed this, this was him uh, as when he was used to be in the Thunder, well, you know he's a clipper now. He's a bench warmer, a swirling bench warmer for the Clippers. He's saying that he wrote that so I should settle for a bulldog and act like I'm happy with my life and preach, keep it in your race to the world as if Dr. King didn't fight, die for equality, acceptance, all culture loving one another and no hate no thanks continued the 30 year old basketball um player that may be your life but i don't want that for mine or my family color doesn't matter wake up no you need to be the one to wake up uh patrick patterson You want to refer to black women as as bulldogs? Well, I'm going to refer to you, Patrick Patterson, as a rat or as a snake. And I'm going to refer your wife as a snake or a pig. How you like that, Pat Patterson? Patrick Patterson, you bench swirling bench warmer. That's what Patrick Patterson is. He's nothing more than a raccoon or a rat. 
I'm not saying all interracial couples act like this towards their own people. I'm not saying every black person is like this when they're in an interracial relationship. I mean, because I know that there are some black people who are in an interracial relationship that still want to help out the black community and even their partners want to help out. But guys like, like Patrick Patterson is why people are skeptic about interracial relationships these days because of the times we live in in the time of Donald Trump and the, the Me Too era and stuff like that. A lot of these people who are in interracial, not all of them, but just enough of them, seem to use their, you know, black people in interracial relationships, seems to use these interracial relationships to attack their own people, to attack the black community, and to help with the depopulation of our community, unfortunately. Like I said, it's not all of them, but it's enough. And Pat, Pat, Patrick Patterson is nothing more than a rat. So, let's talk about, um, let's, uh, the wife here. First of all, I don't even know about the wife. But let me ask Patrick Patterson is, if you get into a Me Too situation, or you get into a bit of trouble, is this woman going to be there for you? When you in trouble, or is she gonna be like some others and just take all your money and then leave and then yell rape or something like that and then you go down? Michael Strahan, a former football player, was in an interracial relationship, and then when they divorce, guess what? He's now has to pay all that money to her. There was this black soccer player who was married to a white woman because he didn't want a black woman. And then years later, that soccer player, black soccer player, law got into a, got a divorce with that white woman. That white woman took all his money, took hit the family, and he ended up homeless and crawling back to a black woman for help. Which, by the way, don't, uh, black woman, if you're watching this video, don't grovel to people like that who only will come to you if they're in trouble. You see, guys like Patrick Patterson make us, including myself, as black men look bad. That's why we are into this gender war situation on this interracial agenda situation. It's because of men like Patrick Patterson who will throw his own community under the bus just so he can be with his wife. And then they'll try to make excuses like love is love and stuff like that. Love have no color. But then they get into a racist situation. That non-black partner may still be racist towards black people. But, and the only reason why they're with them is because of money. Because he's a basketball player, so he makes a lot of money. Even though he's nothing more than a bench warmer. I guess you can get paid even being a freaking bench, swirling bench warmer. But you see, guys like Patrick... Patterson are disgusting. Patrick Patterson doesn't know he's part of a swirling agenda that's trying to depopulate our community. And then he's gonna, and the only reason why he's calling, and then all of a sudden he's apologizing now. So now I heard that he's finally apologized. But I, I wonder if he's sincere, did he realize the error of his race, or he's just doing this because he got caught and someone exposed him with, with these comments. And he happened to get caught, and maybe there's some stuff going on in his life. All of a sudden, he now wants to apologize. 
First of all, you should have never referred to no black woman as a bulldog. That's why I'm referring to you, Patrick Patterson, as a rat. As a coon. As a raccoon. Or as a snake. Because that's exactly what you are, Patrick Patterson. It's black men like him that makes me and other black men look bad. And us as black men got to call out these guys. These The guys like him need to be called out. Because he's making it bad for everybody. He's the one. He's among these black men that's perpetuating. It's causing this gender war in the black community to get worse and worse. Why? Did he have some kind of issue with his mother? See, some of these black men who bash black women, uh, he, uh, had black mother issues. Uh, did you have an issue with your black family relatives who are female? Like your mother or if you had a sister or anything like that? Or maybe he just had it in him no matter what. So screw Patrick Patterson and uh, his karma is going to come. Patrick Patterson Patrick Patterson's karma is going to come to him one day. Like I said, let's see if some Me Too or some other bad situation. Let's see. And I bet you he'll try to crawl right back to the black community. Even we'll try to crawl to black women, even some black men, for help. Since you want to trash, I despise anyone who trashes black women, regardless of who you look like. I know that there are some black women who may have caused trouble, but the only reason why he, he was talking about all black women. All black women are not bulldogs. But you, Pat Patrick Patterson, are a rat. You bring shame upon black men. Real black men. You ain't no real black man. It is a little rat. That's what you are. And your karma, like I said before, your karma... Karma's gonna come and let's see if your wife over here is gonna still stick with you. Don't be crying to us if she leaves and you get in a bad situation. F. Pat Patrick Patterson. And besides, no one goes to watch the Clippers to see you. They're going to see the Clippers game to see people like Kawhi Leonard. You know, the guy who was on another team, the Toronto Raptors, who won a championship for that one and might do it with the Clippers. Yeah. I will leave a link to this article and maybe even that other tweet that I showed earlier in this Christian Boston comment section. I didn't really need to look at the, or read the article. What I'm showing you in this photo is just a, just, is just really just a rant. But guys like Patrick Patterson are a problem in the black community. But I want to know what y'all think in the comment section and description box. Well, just at least in the comment section. Um. That's all I have to say for now. Make sure you like this video, share this video, and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, I also leave, might leave some links to um, some channels, whether it be YouTube, Black Junction, Black Strip, for you to follow me on, wherever you're watching this video. And that's all I have to say. This is J-Dog. Thank you for watching. And I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.